All right, I'm getting tired of wasting money. I'm gonna replace these spark plugs real quick. Why isn't it going in? Whoops. Hey friends, it's Len here from 1A Auto. So maybe you went on our site, 1AAuto.com. You went ahead and you ordered yourself some spark plugs because you wanna start doing a tune up on your vehicle to help save yourself a little bit of money at the gas pump. We all wanna do that. Unfortunately, things can go wrong even during a simple installation such as spark plugs. So we're gonna get into that right now. Now some spark plugs are gonna be a little bit easier to get to than others. Some of them you're just gonna have to do a little bit of digging. Something that's important to think of is if it's hard to get to, it's gonna be hard to do again. So of course you're gonna to wanna to make sure you do it right with the proper tools. It's almost out, here we go. Okay, so now once you have it out of there, you're gonna to wanna to take a close look at it. Maybe when you order your spark plugs, you go ahead and get them, and when you try to compare them, you notice that they don't look the same at all. Now that's something that's important to think about because if you go ahead and put in the wrong spark plug, you're gonna have a running condition. So let's take a closer look at spark plugs real quick. This is the original one that I removed from the vehicle. As you can tell, along where my index finger is, the area that it's gonna connect onto the engine, it has like a little cone here that's supposed to rest directly up against it. Now this one right here, although it does look different, it still has the little cone. Other spark plugs don't necessarily have that for seating to the engine. It's gonna have a little crush gasket. So if yours originally had the cone and the new one has a crush gasket, that's gonna give you a major issue. Now, if you were to look at this one right here, you can see exactly how long this was. This one right here looks about the same, but it is a lot shorter. So if I was to put this one into the engine where this one was, it's gonna have a spark in a completely different area inside that combustion chamber. Even worse than that is if this was the original one with a short amount of threading, and I put in one with a longer amount of threading, that's gonna go deeper into the engine, and it could potentially hit up against the piston, in which case you're gonna have some serious engine damage. Now, you also need to look at the tips of it. Now the tips where the electrode is is gonna be very important. They can be made out of several different things. Sometimes they're gonna be made out of copper. Other times, possibly platinum, double platinum, or even iridium. Now all these have different heat points. They're also gonna create different temperature sparks. So you don't wanna just go ahead and mix those up. If you mix them up, you could potentially change the timing of your engine or even cause some sort of runnability issue. So you wanna make sure that you get the proper electrode type for each of the spark plugs that you're gonna replace. So once again, you need to make sure that you replace all of your spark plugs at the same time with the same exact type of spark plug. This is for maximum fuel efficiency. Now the next couple things that we're gonna start talking about involve installation mistakes. For this one, we're gonna talk about using some sort of lubricant, whether it's a copper never sees or even some type of paste. Now why might somebody even try to use copper never sees when they're doing spark plugs? It really doesn't make any sense to me, but I can kind of understand why. Sometimes when you're doing spark plugs on a vehicle, it might seem as though they're kind of stuck in there. Frozen, we'll say. Frozen in the engine. Now, when you try to break those free, you might try to put a whole bunch of pressure on it. You can even feel the little vein popping out of your forehead. Now, of course, when you go ahead and put in your brand new spark plugs, you're gonna wanna make it a little bit easier for you the next time that you go ahead and replace the spark plugs. So, let's try a little bit of copper never sees. That's gonna make it so it goes ahead and pops right out of there nice and easy for the next time. If you use copper never sees, it's gonna go on the threads, which is probably great on bolts or some other type of application. But on a spark plug, you actually wanna make sure that you have a nice tight seat of the threads between the spark plug itself and the engine. Any type of additive that you put that's in between that spark plug and the engine could cause an issue with the groundability of the spark plug. As that happens, you might start finding that you're losing spark, getting spark, losing spark, getting spark, or even you're losing compression from inside of that cylinder. And when that happens, you're gonna be wasting a whole bunch of fuel, which means you're gonna be wasting a whole bunch of money. Okay, so now we can talk about proper, or even improper tools, for spark plug installations. Commonly, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you use a ratchet. Having a long one's pretty good overall if you're trying to break it free, but when you're trying to install it, you wanna make sure you do it mostly by hand. You can snug it with a ratchet, you don't need very much leverage, and then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you torque it to manufacturer specifications, torqued. Using something like this, how am I gonna know how much torque I have? Also, how do I know that the spark plug's going in straight? If I didn't start it in by hand, if I just take this with an extension and a spark plug socket, put it right down in the hole inside the engine and just jam away, how do I know that I'm not gonna cause any damage to the spark plug or even worse, the engine itself? It looks like we might have some flakes all the way down there on the piston too. 
that's no good. So let's talk about spark plug sockets. It's common for somebody to go ahead and take a spark plug, try putting it into one of their regular old sockets that they have laying around in their toolbox. The problem with that is you take the spark plug, you put it in the socket, and it falls right out. Obviously, that's gonna be an issue, especially if you're trying to put it into an engine that's facing straight down. It's gonna keep falling, and you could potentially cause some serious damage to the spark plug itself. That worked, that's a good sign. Wait a minute. No, that's not good at all. Now, of course, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you use a spark plug socket. If you were to look inside the center, you're gonna find that it has a rubber bushing. That's for a couple of reasons. One, so you can go ahead and put it right in there and the spark plug doesn't fall out. Also, so when you put it into the spark plug socket, if I was to use a regular socket, I can see that this just wants to wobble around. If I was trying to tighten my brand new spark plug into the engine and the spark plug socket could move around or the socket that I used for it could move, I could potentially crack the porcelain. If you crack the porcelain, you know exactly what's gonna happen. You're gonna have spark transference trying to make its way out any way it can. It could even ground out up against the engine. Now, when you get your spark plugs, it's important to remember that there are some types of spark plugs that you cannot gap. You can't use a tool that looks like this. Different types of spark plugs that you can't check the gap on would be something considered maybe an iridium plug or even a double platinum plug. But if you have a copper plug, like maybe this one right here, that's one that you can check the gap on and you can adjust if needed. As I turn this, you can tell that this area gets larger and larger the farther I go. So you just wanna carefully put this in here and we're just gonna go ahead and turn it until it feels as though it stops without any force. Now, once you take an accurate measurement, you wanna make sure that that is where the manufacturer requires for a gap on the spark plug. Assuming it seems good, go ahead and check them all and get ready for your installation. Okay, friends, I've said pretty much everything I need to say about common spark plug installation mistakes. Of course, we did a couple do's and I showed you a couple fun don'ts. Now, I hope you liked the video. I hope you learned a little something. If there's something in this video that you thought was interesting or you think somebody else might find it interesting, go ahead and share it with them. It would mean everything to me. If you like the video or even love the video, go ahead and smash on the like button for me. It would mean the world. While you're at it, subscribe, ring the bell. That way there you, all of your friends, can be kept up with all of our latest content. Thanks. squeaky boots <clears throat> of course of course and of course of course now of course so of course there's a lot of of courses am i saying of course a lot sure. of course 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 thanks